All right. Okay. We are back with another reaction, if we want to call it, uh, to BTS. Yep. Uh, we're going to change things up a little bit this week. So we're going to start with an introduction. Many of you recommended that we learn a little more about the members uh, in the group. So we're going to start by watching X Celeste, who's a YouTuber mm. and a reactor, a BTS and K-pop reactor, I believe. We're going to start by watching her introduction to BTS cool. called This Is BTS. So she, I assume, created this by herself as sort of a, a fan-made introduction to bts i believe so yep i think she put it together and uh people say it's pretty pretty well done wow so i'm excited it's like a little documentary yeah and i think it's important for us to learn about the group yeah before we listen to more of their songs yeah to give us some context here so let's jump right into it this is bts by x celeste How many of you have heard of BTS? <laughs> Who is BTS and why are they so popular? BTS is a seven member group from South Korea. While the words boy band are often associated with the image of screaming teen girls, that is far from reality. First, there's nothing wrong with being a young person showing love for something you enjoy. But what if I told you, about 24% are in their 20s, 28% are in their 30s, and 21% are in their 40s. Wow. Take a closer look at this age and gender demographic for BTS's 2020 Map of the Soul ticket sales. Females ages 25 and up made 46% of web traffic, and 31% were males. BTS's fans, named ARMY, will often tell you BTS is not your typical boy band and why. To get a better understanding, let us go back to the beginning. BTS was created by Big Hit Entertainment, whose mission statement is music and artist for healing. Mm. The company, and namely their CEO, Bang Shi Hyuk, wanted BTS to be sincere and genuine figures that people could easily relate to and grow with. Not immaculate it. idols groomed amid studio culture, but real boys who shared their authentic personalities and talents with the world. I want to work for him. When do you hear about that? <laughs> A lot of the Western labels, it seems like you don't really hear about stuff like that. Yeah, because I, I guess the assumption here is that, you know, this type of relationship doesn't sell, right? Mm. What, what was that logo again? Music, uh, let me see. Big hit or the, the motto. BTS was created by Big Hit Entertainment, whose mission statement is music and artist for healing. Mm. The company and name. Music and artists for healing. That's that amazing. Is, that is so pure and powerful, right? You don't it, see money, <laughs> but you, you seek out individuals you seek out people yeah who have healing potential you don't seek out uh, artists who can make you the most money like you said and the most ironic thing here is when your mission statement is music and artists for healing that's what makes the most money mm, that's it that's it that's all you have to say namely their ceo bang shi hyuk wanted BTS to be sincere and genuine figures that people could easily relate to and grow with. Mm. Not immaculate idols groomed amid studio culture, but real boys who shared their authentic personalities and talents with the world. Which is why BTS stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan, Korean for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. Bulletproof Pangtan Boy Scouts. meaning to be resistant to bullets, so it means to block out stereotypes, criticisms and expectations that are aimed at adolescents like bullets to preserve the value and ideals of today's adolescents. In 2017, BTS rebranded their name and logo representing their growth and maturity, extending the meaning to beyond the scene. The new door-inspired logo symbolizes youth who don't settle for their current reality and instead open the door and go forward to achieve growth. Hmm. Okay, I just have to pause here really quickly. Two things. 
one, what a wonderful job this woman is doing of digging deep and laying out all of the details and the history mm -hmm. of who BTS is. Absolutely. Or are. Absolutely. And number two, they are 5,000 times deeper <laughs> in meaning uh, than I had ever imagined. Yep. Their entire creation as a group yeah. is built on a solid foundation of love and care yeah. for themselves and others. Yeah. Like th I, this is not what I expected or what I imagined whenever I heard BTS. Yeah. The previous couple years. I mean, the people tell us, right, they're not your typical boy band. Yep. yep. You know, do, do not just throw them to the side and label them your typical boy band. Yeah. This first two minutes, Jordan. I can see why. Yeah. They're, they're different. Yeah. BTS debuted on June 12, 2013 with seven members. RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. All seven members came from different parts of Korea. So at first, living together in a small apartment was a challenge. Their CEO, Bang Shi Hyo, created a method for the boys whenever they got into an argument. <laughs> All right, this man's a spiritual leader. <laughs> well, he's a genius. <laughs> like, what are we... Uh, what? He's a genius. Hey, girl, and you over the years, the boys have come to love each other despite their difference in personalities, to mm. the point where they'd feel incomplete with one member missing. They became each other's strength and support and formed a brotherhood. <laughs> Their climb to the top may seem sudden to those who didn't follow their journey, but it was far from a walk in the park. BTS's company, Big Hit Entertainment, started off small and faced numerous hardships, even coming close to bankruptcy. Since Big Hit wasn't a large company at that time, they lacked the resources for promoting BTS. Even getting the chance to debut was a fluke. Their debut performance opportunity came about because a music show needed a filler for someone else's spot. Mm. Even after they debuted, their performances would often get cut. And if they did make it on air, their screen time was very short since Big Hit didn't have the power or influence bigger companies had over broadcasts. Since they were often not invited to a lot of big variety shows, the company found their own way to communicate with their audience through platforms such as YouTube. By vlogging their journey, they allowed us to discover their personalities. They also created their own variety shows and often live-streamed with fans. They honed their crafts for hours on end, mm. practicing in the dance studio and producing music, oh returning home at dawn to all sleep in one bedroom. Two years of hard work and not knowing where they'd end up, they finally won their first music show award. Yet, as they grew in popularity, they were falsely accused of sajeki, which is when a company buys their own artist albums to boost sales for the charts. That's because people couldn't believe a group from a small company was selling well, mm. ignoring the fact that a small company wouldn't have the resources to pull off such a scam. These were just a few of their hardships and struggles. 
I created a separate video highlighting their past hardships. I'll link that in my description box. We'll have to watch that. Throughout yeah, the years, BTS were able to reach impressive milestones while continuing to sing in Korean. They shattered cultural language barriers with music and attracted an international audience. Mm. They grew organically by staying true to themselves while building a genuine connection with their fans from around the world. During an era where streaming numbers have gone up and traditional album sales have gone down, BTS has become an industry anomaly. Their latest album, Map of the Soul 7, released February 21, 2020, is the best-selling physical album of the year. Wow. And they sold over 500,000 copies in just the United States alone. The biggest kicker? Well, BTS did this without a single bundle. Mm. And what does bundle mean? Artists would bundle merchandise or concert tickets with the album's sales. For example, a copy of an artist's album, digital or physical, would be included in every t-shirt sale or ticket <laughs> sold for their concert. <laughs> These sales would count towards charting numbers and become an industry-wide tactic in the US to help boost sales figures and in effect climb up the billboard charts. That's very interesting. Yeah. I, I was not aware of, of bundling. Or I had heard about bundling before. And it's a major thing when somebody does this without bundles. Of course. I mean, you could probably sell more t-shirts than you can albums. Absolutely. And then yeah. when you bundle and you put mm -hmm. album sales as, you know, you, you, you put album sales and t-shirt sales and merchandise sales together, those numbers just skyrocket. Yeah. That's impressive. She said they grew organically. Yeah. Everything about this so far screams organic. Yeah. It's interesting, though, because, <clears throat> you know, they were brought together. And to me, it, it sort of feels like a like a long boot camp, mm. but a, or maybe some would say a long summer camp. You know, they're they're having fun. They're bonding, but they are working so hard mm. behind the scenes. Yeah. And you, know? you can tell they were, they were really young in a lot of those images. Yeah. Really young. You know, we see the polished version of BTS. Yeah. Now. But, I mean, this is great. Celeste, I mean, this is fantastic. Yes, yeah, she is doing is an amazing job. In a 2019 New York Times article, they said, about half the 39 titles that topped the charts last year were sold as mm. part of ticket or merchandise bundles. Without the help of bundles and driven by the power of armies alone, BTS were able to beat a lot of historic records, such as Michael Jackson's 36-year record and the Beatles' 22-year record. While these musical acts are famous around the world, Sugar has said it's a great honor to be called the Beatles of the 21st century. At the same time, it's a bit pressuring to be called that. We are BTS. We want to be the BTS of the 21st century. Mm. The members themselves have always been involved in their music and engaged with their fans, even before they officially debuted. From their debut album, Too Cool For School, in 2013 to their most recent Map of the Soul 7, all seven members have contributed as either writers and or producers on every album. All of BTS are associate members of the Korea Music Copyright Association. And as of August 2020, J-Hope, Suga, and RM were all promoted to full members of the association. They even create music that's released for free on SoundCloud as gifts to their fans. <laughs> Much of their work touches on subjects like mental health, youth and female empowerment, child abuse, cyberbullying, self-love and development, and socioeconomic injustices. Much of their work is also inspired by past writers and thinkers. Their latest series, Map of the Soul, incorporates psychological concepts by Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung. Ah. BTS is not afraid to use their platform to amplify underrepresented voices and issues taking numerous risks with their career while receiving backlash from people in power. BTS are also as charitable as they are talented. 
Throughout the years, members have been donating individually and as a group. BTS rarely publicize donations, so fans often find out about them if media organizations uncover the details. One of BTS's few public announcements was in November 2017 for their Love Myself campaign. They partnered with UNICEF to create a campaign aimed at protecting children and teenagers from around the world, with the hope of making the world a better place through music. BTS and their company, Big Hit Entertainment, pledged 500 million Korean won and donated 3% of the income from the sales of physical albums of the Love Yourself series along with six other fundraising initiatives, including the Love Myself merchandise, where 100% of its proceeds were pledged to the cause. The Love Yourself series, which contained three albums total, sold over 7 million copies worldwide. On September 24, 2018, BTS was invited to deliver a speech about the Love Myself campaign at the United Nations General Assembly. <laughs> On January 15, 2020, Formula E announced their partnership with BTS to help combat climate change. <laughs> On June 3, 2020, BTS tweeted their support for Black Lives Matter. A few days later, Variety reported that BTS and Big Hit Entertainment had donated $1 million to support the Black Lives Matter movement. When armies got wind of the news, they matched their oh one million goodness. dollar donation in one day. In 24 hours. Hold up. In 24 hours. Army. <laughs> army. That's that's what an army does. Yeah. Jared. They're not fans. Yeah. They're not followers. No. They're not subscribers. No. Jared, they're army. Army. And we're going to watch Celeste's video about BTS ARMY after this one. Yeah. But Jared, not only are they charitable, right? Not only are they great human beings from what it seems like, they are extremely talented. Yeah, yeah. And Let's I not forget about that. That's I the thing that keeps them all running in this music industry. But look. Their talent. But look. The most beautiful thing here is that you just listed all of those things before you got to their talent. Mm. But that's what happens when you grow organically, when you yeah. have a, a, a leader who actually cares about you, yeah. who actually wants to see you succeed in a humane way. Yeah, we, we forget that they're talented because they're all such genuinely good-hearted people. <laughs> oh my goodness, right? See, they're donating to different causes that they, that they believe in Right? They're creating music uh, on subject matter that is risky for their careers. Yep. Right? Yep. It's risky. Mm -hmm. And they're doing it and they're leading the way. I truly, you know, we're 11 minutes into this introduction to BTS and I see them as an example, Jordan, for what artists and groups, music, uh, and any other art form yes. should be. Yes. And how they should act. What I think about, and I find it so hard to believe, is how can a group of seven extremely talented individuals all buy in? And we mentioned this in yeah. our uh, reaction to Black Swan. They all seem to have bought in. They all seem to genuinely care about each other and the music they create and ARMY. Yeah. I'm wondering how that's possible because any minor thing can throw an entire group off. We mentioned this, but I think I'm, I'm gaining a better understanding because uh, the individual who, who put the group together essentially yeah. said fighting. Yeah. It's, it's kind of good to fight. It's okay to fight. That's how we grow. I, I think what we see here is over the past 10 years they have been together mm. right they 2013 yeah you know celeste mentioned during the first two years of them being together right they were still trying to make their breakthrough mm. so those two years were sort of the formative years mm -hmm. of of their uh growing up that 
that nobody sees. That nobody saw. That's where all the bonding happened. That's, That's where right. all the the sort of buying in happened. That's right. If yep. you want to call it. Yep. There's something much deeper and much stronger here than just a friendship to among become, seven members. To become this successful, yeah. there's always something deeper. Absolutely. It, even if you weren't founded or created on these principles. Yeah. Every artist who surpasses Michael Jackson and reaches those type of accomplishments and accolades and speaks in front of the UN, the United Nations. There's something going on there behind the scenes that it's it's too good to be true. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. They're, they're amazing. All right. Now let's continue. Now, these are just a couple of their acts of charity. With their socially conscious music, BTS created a new fandom culture that brings together fans from different national and racial identities. Mm. This led to the emergence of bilingual army volunteers who translated BTS Korean <laughs> lyrics and videos in their language almost real time, making the content immediately available to non-Korean speakers. We may all speak different languages, but their music and their message connected people from around the world with different ethnicities, background, wow. gender, and age. Stadiums. BTS has also expressed their love and respect for ARMY countless of times, <laughs> such as always mentioning them first during speeches, responding <laughs> to fans on their social media app Weverse, showing their appreciation for ARMY projects, halting rehearsals for the Muslim prayers in Saudi Arabia. The youngest member, Jungkook, even got the fandom name tattooed on his hand. Together with ARMY, they grew as individuals and as artists. Mm. Because 이 방탄소년단을 하고 있는 이유가 맞는 것 같아요. Imagine the energy in that stage. 또 내가 원래 하고 싶었던 이 메시지 하고 싶었던 음악들을 하고 있어서 전 다행이라고 생각을 해요. 그러기 때문에 되게 그렇게 살고 있는 것 같아요. 긍정적인 에너지를 주죠. 일단 이 일을 좋아하는 거, 이 일을 사랑하고 너무 좋아하는 게 저에게 큰 영향을 주는 것 같아요. 왜냐하면 이 일을 하기 싫고 실증이 나고 하면은 무대 위에서도 나타나기 때문에 음. 이 일을 굉장히 사랑하기 때문에 내가 무대 위에서 퍼포먼스를 할수 있고 노래를 할수 있는 거 같아요. 계속 와서 응원해 주는 모습 그리고 그렇게 저희를 진심으로 좋아해 주는 그런 표정들 힘들 때 그런 표정들이 저에게 더 힘을 주어, 주는 거 같아서 여러분을 저희를 알아봐 주신 여러분들이라면 여러분의 꿈 꿈이 아니더라도 여러분의 삶 여러분의 인생에 언젠가 저희의 존재가 저희의 음악이 저희의 무대가 저희의 사진 영상이 여러분한테 아주 조금이라도 아픔이 100이라면 그 100을 99, 98, 97로 만들어 줄수 있다면 그걸로 저희의 존재의 가치는 충분합니다. 정말 사랑합니다. Their love for ARMY has also helped them decide on re-signing another seven-year contract with Big Hit Entertainment. They mentioned doing it for their fans and not for money. So while people often discredit BTS's talent, likening their popularity to superficial aspects that come with the image of a boy band, it is their development of personalities and sincerity towards their art and their fans that made their fandom the size and reach that it has become. Wow. I hope people will come to realize that BTS is more than just their singing and their dancing skills. They're not just performers, but artists who have healed and inspired millions of people around the world. For a deeper dive into BTS, please refer to these websites, apps, and ARMY accounts to stay updated. 
We're also working on more video projects and a website, so stay tuned. Um, Jared, is it too early to sign up for Army? Oh no, I, I was just gonna say that I, I think I'm Army now. Uh, uh, guys, can you let us know if uh, we can join the Army? Join? No, 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 the Army, Jordan. I, we are Army now. Army. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Celeste, this was absolutely amazing, and I know. You all let us know that there's many other documentaries and introductory videos out there. This was this was amazing. I'm in. <laughs> like I'm I'm down for the ride, <laughs> the journey through BTS's catalog, BTS's career. Like they are, they appear to be amazing. More than amazing individuals, Jared, and together. They are more powerful than they would ever be alone. Yeah. Uh, let me just say this. I truly feel blown away by what we just watched. Yeah. I feel deeply inspired. Inspired. Yes. No. Yes. BTS is the epitome of inspiration. Yes. They, they, they sweat inspiration, Jordan. They, they make people feel inspired millions hundreds of millions of people from all across the globe all walks of life speaking different languages through any language barrier army will translate it in an instant jared that's with, that's some powerful stuff that is some very powerful stuff and the fact that they appreciate army yeah as much as they do and understand that they're the reason why they go out onto the stages and perform, that they're the reason why they stand before them. That says it all. Yeah. When you have a such a powerful backing that only continues to grow, that's the only way to sustain it, is to be as grateful and true to the craft and true to humanity as BTS appears to be. Yeah, and just sitting here in in all honesty, I cannot think of another artist mm. or another group, musical artist, musical group that has done what BTS has done. The impact that they've had on people across this world, mm. right? You know, the, the ones that come to my mind, um, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, yeah. Right? The Beatles, as, as has been mentioned. Mm -hmm. Who else? Right? You'd have to just search deeper to try to find some artists bts is changing the entire world mm. changing the world yeah yeah this i i i really feel so grateful to have just come across this and, and obviously it was recommended by army they came in droves <laughs> yeah they came strong in the comment section. We appreciate each and every one of you who gave us recommendations and sent us here. Jordan, you know, Jared, I often say when we do these reactions, we go based on what the people tell us. Yeah. Right. So if the people want us to listen to a music video or a live performance, we're going to listen to it. Countless people said guys i think it'd be best if you start by watching an introduction an introduction to to bts yeah learn a little more about them before you uh listen to their music yeah um i understand why now because now it's a completely different experience listening to any song of yes. theirs yes you know i'm just blown away by how deep each and every aspect of this group is seems to be yeah their name their name you know like who would have thought not me yeah and so entirely impressed by by bts and who they are yeah now on to the to the other half of this i may be even more impressed by army and yeah. who they are just reading through some of the many comments that army has uh written and, and submitted to us i did not see even a hint of negativity 
so much positivity in the comment section from army positivity encouragement love support think of any synonym <laughs> of of love and, and healing that's army so next week we are going to react to this is army by celeste and i am truly looking forward to that yes absolutely let's learn a little more about army so guys let us know what we should react to after that video because as of this moment i am ready for the journey <laughs> we appreciate each and every one of you make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe leave a comment turn your notifications on and we will see you next week peace